What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be revisiting an older video where we go over sending an email with a table and resizing it. And um, as you can see here at the top, there's a comment um, that says, great video, helps me a lot. I did run into an issue with an important file of mine where if my table range is too big, A1 to AH37, I'm not able to resize it bigger than shape range 500. Is there a way around the size limiter? Because there does not seem to be an outlook problem since I'm able to manually resize as big as I want once in the email body. All right, so let's run it as is. So we can just get a recap of what's going on here. So what this macro does is it takes this table, it um, takes the range and it turns it into a picture and then that gets inserted into an email. And um, the emails, it got a you know subject, uh, a brief description here, and a signature at the bottom. And what we want to do is what this person is having an issue is with is um they've got a range that goes from A1 to AH37. So let's go ahead and emulate that. So if I take this, <clears throat> let's take this down to 37 first. All right, so 37. Oops. And then we're gonna take it over to AH. Yikes, sorry about that, y'all. Give me one second. All right. So we're going all the way over to AH. And let's see what happens. We're gonna change this range and let's let's go ahead and revamp this. Let's make this dynamic. So let's add a couple of variables. We're gonna have our row count. Let's make that a, let's just make it an integer for now. Or no, we can do long. Let's make it long. And then we're gonna do our column count as long as well and then after we activate our sheet we're going to do row count equals ws and we set ws equal to this worksheet and the worksheet name is population data so this worksheet here and we're going to do cells rows count one end xl up so we're counting from the bottom up to get our count, we want the rows, and then we're gonna have our column count, which is gonna count our columns. It's gonna be similar, except we're doing one here, columns, count, we're gonna in, and then we're gonna be counting from the left. So we're gonna count XL to the left to get our column count. All right, so now we got those and from here, let's set our table equal to WS range cells. The table starts at cell one, one, so one, one, and then it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of our row, our row count, and all the way over to our column count. So now it's dynamic. So it doesn't matter how big the range is, it'll capture it regardless. So we've got that, we've set our table, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and run it now and see what happens. All right, so you see, this is the issue that the commenter brought up, and the table looks pretty crazy. So the only the uh, problem with this is that if we decide to change the sizing, so, 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 they alluded to 500, so let's change that to 500 and see what happens. And there's really no change. Like I can make this 5,000, it'll probably break. But there's it's there's no help for this this range. It's it's it, it doesn't work. So what we're gonna have to do for ranges of this size, we can't just uh, normally copy and paste. What we're gonna have to do is Let's go ahead and comment this entire section out. 
and we're gonna make some edits further down where we actually create our email so what we're gonna do here is insert a width with word doc inline shapes one and then we're going to end our width and then inside of this we're going to have lock aspect ratio equals mso true similar to what we have here and then <clears throat> our height will just be um, some set amount and our width will be the same but for now let's just comment this out and see what happens when we run it with this minor change so we've got the same issue here right but now Let's make the width the width five hundred. Oops. Save that. Run it again. Okay, it's gotten a little bigger. Okay, so that's the width. Let's make it five thousand. Let's see what happens. So we save that, and let's close that outlook just real quick. We got a lot of windows open now. It's a lot bigger now, a whole lot bigger. So we can make this, let's do 2,500 instead. Save it, run it. And that's, you know, that's decent. It looks a whole lot better than it was before. And now we're not restricted by that 500 that was mentioned earlier. And, um, just quickly to go over this, this um, lock aspect ratio that keeps the table intact in the ratio that it's, that it's originated in. If I hit false here, what happens now is the chart will get a little wonky, right? Because it's not fitting in the aspect ratio anymore. It's going to fit into whatever dimensions I put in for it. So you see here, it gets fit like that. If I make this 50 for the height, it's gonna look crazy, you see? It's only 50 high, 2,500 across. But yeah, let's take that out again, save it. So what we did here was we changed our, uh, we had a static range and now we made it dynamic. And then we also um, got around the size limit by altering the size within our email body. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.